So, in this video, we have a uniform ladder of mass 8 kilos, rests in equilibrium with its base on a smooth horizontal floor, and its top against a smooth vertical wall. The base of the ladder is 1 meter from the wall, and the top of the ladder is 2 meters from the floor. The ladder is kept in equilibrium by a light string attached to the base of the ladder and to a point on the wall, vertically below the top of the ladder and 1 meter above the floor. Find the tension in the string. Right, we're going to need a diagram, I think. So, here's the wall. Here is the floor. There's my ladder. Now, we're told that the ladder is uniform. It has a mass of 8 kilos, so its weight will act through the centre. And so that will be 8g. Now, the floor is smooth. The wall is smooth, so there's no friction to worry about. There will be a normal reaction force with the wall and a normal reaction force with the floor. OK, the base of the ladder is one metre from the wall. So this distance is one metre. And the top of the ladder is 2 metres from the floor, so that is 2 metres. The ladder is kept in equilibrium by a light string attached to the base of the ladder and to a point on the wall vertically below the top of the ladder and 1 metre above the floor. So it's attached to a point here where that is 1 metre. That then has to be 1 metre if that whole distance is 2 metres. And that is connected to the base of the ladder. I should probably have used a ruler for that bit. OK, let's use my ruler. OK, and of course there will be tension in the string. Now, although my triangle isn't uh, perfectly isosceles here, um, it would have to be because that's one meter by one meter. So this is going to be 45 degrees. And so that would also be 45 degrees. Okay, and that will probably come in useful at some point. Okay, so we need to find the tension in the string. Now, um, we can find that length there. I'm not sure whether we're going to need it, because uh, we could use Pythagoras to do that. So let's run with not finding that just for the time being. If we need it, we'll find it. Okay. So we will resolve forces taking upwards as positive first. Now we have the normal reaction force of the floor, so RF. Then we're going to have the component of the tension, which will be T sine 45. So plus T sine 45. And then we're taking away 8G, and that's going to be equal to 0. OK. Now, sine of 45 is 1 over root 2, or root 2 over 2. Uh, so we can write RF plus root 2 over 2 t is equal to 8g. So I'll, I'll write it like that. OK, so uh, let's now resolve horizontally. So I'm going to take to the left, I think, as positive. So we're going to have uh, the component of the tension, which is going to be t cosine 45. Uh, take away the normal reaction to the wall is going to be equal to zero. So that's telling me that root 2 over 2t is going to be equal to Rw. OK, not sure in what, uh, what way I'm going to use those equations just yet. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. OK, so next thing is to take moments. So let's take moments about uh, this point here. We'll call that point A. OK, 
Okay, so what are we going to have to deal with now? So taking moments about point A, uh, the good news about that is that I don't need to worry about T because uh, the tension is working foo A. So that's good. Um, now let's think about... 8g here, so the weight. Now, if that's going to project downwards and the rod is uniform, that means that distance there has to be half a metre. So we're half a metre from the 8g force, which is going around in an anti-clockwise motion. So that is one half times by 8g. Now, as for the normal reaction force of the wall, projecting that along, that distance is 2 metres, because that distance is 2 metres. So we're 2 metres away from the RW force, and that's going around in a clockwise motion. So take away 2 times RW has got to be equal to 0. Now this is good news, because this allows me to find RW, and then I can substitute it in here to work out the tension. So R. W is equal to, well, half times 8 is 4, so we've got 4G is 2RW, so that means that 2G would be RW. So therefore, the tension is, or rather, root 2 over 2 times the tension, sorry, is equal to 2G. So... Uh, root 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over root 2. So multiplying both sides by root 2 means we're going to get 2 root 2g. Okay, uh, newtons. Now if we want to write that to 3 sig fig, I'll use g as 9.8. So 2 times root 2 times by 9.8 and we get 27.7 newtons to three significant figures.